Alrighty Lumberjacks, welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at the 1.16 mod update. Um, so just as a heads up for the uh, start of this, so this update uh, has lots of changes in it, a few new toys, um, but it's going to be the last update probably for a couple months, taking a, taking a little break from the modding updating. Um, I'm still going to be modding because I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm working on right now, but um, I'm just putting a little bit of a little bit of a gap between them so that when the next update comes um it'll have a lot more <clears throat> a lot more mods a lot more toys that i can offer you guys in the next update um just so it's a little bit of a bigger change um these month to month updates have been uh good and all but i've only been bringing a couple mods at a time and i'd like to bring you guys a little bit more of a bigger pack uh, when i do the next mod update um, and in this update, I've also leveled out the physics pretty well and the functionality, so I don't feel there's going to be a lot of uh, physics changes or any kind of uh, huge changes to the grapples or the, 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 the equipment in general. So um, this is a great baseline update. I think you guys will like it. And uh, yeah, it'll be a little bit of a break for a while, but I'll, I'll be teasing on Patreon and uh, YouTube members and stuff of all the upcoming new toys. So... That'll be fun to look at. So anyway, uh, first things first, we're going to go over the new toys because everybody likes the new toys. So the first one we're going to look at is the new Cat 325 DFM. Uh, this was another popular one from back in the day. Um, it has been resurrected. Um, so before I get into the actual looking at that one, um, you'll notice these things have the new high riser style tracks. Uh, so there's a few machines that will start having these high riser tracks. Uh, the Cat machines, um, the Hitachi now has them. Uh, they're really nice tracks. They just give it a totally different look um, by having them. As far as physics go, they react exactly the same as the other tracks. So you're not going to see like a, a big change in performance negatively or positively. It'll be exactly the same. Uh, just the tracks themselves are more of a, a visual look. But I do really like the look of the high riser style on some of these machines. And for all those fans that were emailing me, the Hitachi fans saying that the high riser tracks should be on it, well, it's it's on there now. So... <laughs> Uh, same with the cat. Lots of the caterpillar stuff has these high riser style tracks, so you'll start seeing uh, those appearing on lots of the new caterpillar stuff. Um, the other tiger cat, which I don't have here, tiger cat, and a few of the other ones still have the the kind of flat. Uh, Medill also has the flat style tracks where they don't have the riser, but it's nice to have just kind of a, a variation in the machines. So anyway, that's a that's a new improvement. I hope you guys like. Um, so yeah, this is the cat 325 DFM. Uh, it's a really nice little machine. Um, the cab itself is uh, a little bit blocky. Like, there's a lot of guards and grills. I actually took a bunch of stuff out of here because there was actually more crossbars and stuff. Uh, so this is as clean as I can get it while still keeping the shape of the cab. Um, even with the fact that there's a lot of bars and stuff in here, I, I, I was processing and operating with it just fine. Um, but, you know, if anybody else doesn't like it, you can always operate from outside the cab or whatever. Uh, so the cab itself, very basic, very simple, simplistic kind of style cab. Um, pretty similar to all the other FDR machines, nothing too complicated. The one thing you guys will really like about this guy is it has a crazy good arm reach on it. So let's put that way out there. So it has a really long arm reach on it. Uh, it's really nice for if you're processing especially. So if you're processing, um, you can really get that head far out there for sorting your piles or for if you're felling and knocking down trees. Very, very handy little piece of equipment but yeah the cat 325 dfm uh super popular back in the day and she is back on this update uh this update by the way is coming out uh on march 31st uh which will be sometime later this week so you guys can get all excited about that uh the other new addition well actually we have two more additions uh i actually have to buy one hold on a sec here where is it uh this guy the power clam log grapple which i totally forgot about so that's also a new addition is <laughs> the power clam yet has changed yet again. Uh, so the last version of the power clam had these crossbars that were in it. It was black. Um, a lot of people were reporting issues because it didn't close all the way. So here, let's actually attach it to our Hitachi here. And for people who are still having problems with rotating, remember to hover the head above. So I get that notification telling me I could hook it up down there, but if you keep spinning your head, eventually it'll connect one way or another. Anyway, so in the last version of the power clam, it would come to about here and stop. And that's as far as you... Oh, I can't even make it do it. That's as far as you could actually get the clam to stop. Um, 
And the problem was in multiplayer, and we were testing it, is that it would slide, the logs would slide in and out if you didn't have a good enough squeeze on them. So now this is uh, basically the thumb rake uh, model, and it's just basically just enlarged. Uh, same with the last power clam was, but now that it closes all the way, you can get a really tight grab on your logs, and uh, you shouldn't have any issues picking stuff up anymore. And it holds it really well, gives you the ability to, uh, you know, do penciling, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, it's a very, very good, very, very good grapple, and I think you guys will like it a lot more than the previous version. It is also yellow, uh, Tiger Cat yellow style. Um, a lot of people sent me pictures of the newer Tiger Cat grapples that are these big monster grapples that are Tiger Cat yellow. So this guy looks really, really good on a Tiger Cat, so you guys can uh, do that if you want. But that is the new power clamp. Great for unloading. Um, great for unloading short logs, uh, probably long logs. You, can, you guys will have a good time with it. So anyway, that is the new version of the power clamp, the final version of the power clamp. I'm not making another one but it works really good. Uh, this is a new addition. So this is the Giants in-game pickup, uh, the, the lizard version of the pickup. So what I've done is I've modified it. I've put some nastier, bigger tires on it. I've gave it a little bit of a lift off the ground just because I just love doing that. Um, add some more kind of heavy duty or bumpers, some railing. And the biggest addition is it has a tidy tank built into it. So you don't have to, you don't have to disconnect it like I used to do in 2019. That sucker is built into this truck. So this is now basically a mobile fuel truck. So if I drive over to the fuel station here, we'll go park over here. So now as you pull up next to it, you can see in the top left of my little help screen, it says refuel. So if you hit R, you'll see in the bottom right next to your little uh, indicator for your speed, you can fill it up. I think you can fit 2,500 or 3,000 liters, I think, in this guy. It does take forever to fuel up. That's kind of annoying, but that's just the life of things. So then once you fill it up, all you got to do is drive alongside... I don't think this machine actually needs fuel. But drive alongside a machine, hop in it, and then at the... Oh, it's... Uh, this one doesn't actually need fuel. It's at 100%. But normally you have a little pop-up saying you can fill the, fill the vehicle up. But yeah, that's all you got to do is just drive up alongside it. See if this one lets us do it here. I think I've already filled all these up, so you won't see it. But yeah, usually about that range is close enough to get it refueled. Um, again, this one's full, so it's not going to give you the option to fuel. But yeah, that's all you got to do. And that's uh, that's the new fuel truck. I had lots of people asking about um, about a fuel truck because they're tired of dragging that uh, trailer out to the bush. So this guy is one whole fuel truck built into one. And then you can just drive up to your machines and fuel them up just like real life. So, yeah. Okay, so those are all the new toys for this update. Now, let's go over some of the fixes. Uh, so, first, uh, all maps uh, on our list. So, all maps now have the ability to remove the foliage from all types of ground. So, previously, uh, some maps would have parts of the foliage or the ground or the grass, these kind of bushy things that wouldn't be removed by the buncher blade. So, the buncher blade... Um, has the ability to kind of carve up the ground and plow it a bit. <clears throat> and we weren't able to do that before with certain types of ground foliage. So there was a guy that uh, tipped me off about that by adding certain types of foliage layers to the map itself. So now you can basically remove all of these layers all by swinging and cutting at once, which is really, really nice. Um, the other new thing with the buncher head, since we're on the subject, um, previously, you used to have to hit uh, V for Victor to lower and raise your head um, to get it to mulch up the ground like that. So if I hit V for Victor on my keyboard, um, it turns it off so it's not mulching. But if I hit V again, uh, it turns it back on so it's mulching. So now when you buy this head, uh, it's already in the mulching ready position. So you don't actually have to hit V if you want it to be grinding. But if you want to turn it off, just hit V again and it'll make it stop. So that's, that's for this and for the grinder, uh, the tree grinder uh, m machine attachment. Uh, next. Do, 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 do. All machines. Okay, so all machines, new hydraulic sound for moving arms. So in the previous versions, uh, we had hydraulic sounds that were really high pitched when you turn the machine. So when you moved your arm, it would be kind of like a wee 
kind of noise like a really high pitch and a lot of people didn't like it and i totally agreed i always play with music so loud i never hear it anyway but some people were noticing and didn't like it so now uh i'll stop talking here you can hear it's kind of a more uh like a lower when you're moving all your arms kind of a low hum so that way you can still hear that your arm is moving but for the most part it's just a lot quieter so you don't hear that like all your cylinders need to be greased it's a lot more subtle a lot more quiet um, and a lot of people kind of wanted that because they hated the whiny sound of it so i mean everybody hears things a little bit differently but i totally get it so that's fixed minor minor fix but it is a fix um but -ba 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 boom uh, tons of sound changes, uh, sound changes. Okay, let's go to the, so obviously the machines sound a little bit more chill. Uh, same with the processor. So the processor now has a quieter sound, cutting sound, quieter running sound. So it's more of a calm, kadonk, kadonk sound. Uh, before it used to be kind of a really high pitched hissy kind of noise when you were running the, uh, the trees through. And I really, really didn't like that. Um, also when you're cutting, um, I'm actually just going to switch this to one meter. Uh, de -de 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 -de. we're going to cut up our nice pile of wood that we have here. So let's switch back to one meter. Oops. Uh, let's grab that. Shwink. So now when you're cutting, it's really subtly quiet cut. So you don't even hear it inside the cab. So I had a few processor guys that uh, run processor in real life. And they say, dude, when you're inside the cab, you don't hear, you can't hear the cutting of the sound. It was really loud. So outside of the cab, you can hear it run. You hear like a kind of subtle cut. Um, but inside the cab, you don't really hear a lot of that. It's really quiet. So I wanted to kind of give that imitational sound of, you know, silence while you're in the cab. Um, so anyway, that's just some small stuff like that little changes you can still hear the clacks and stuff like the opening closing of the claws the running that kind of stuff um, but for the most part the sounds have just been kind of kind of cleaned up dampened a bit uh, all machines cleaned up the UI for unneeded stuff so if anybody uses the F1 menu up in the top corner there um, there was a few settings in there that didn't need to be there that are now gone. <clears throat> Just cleaned it up a bit. That isn't anything major, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Dangle head processors. Uh, improve the visual connection point. Okay, so uh, previously on the last versions of these machines, this little piece in the center that I'm zooming in on, uh, it used to be just one solid little cone that kind of connected to the top, and it wasn't... I mean, it looked horrible, but it, it worked for the time being. So now it's got these kind of two placers on it. So when you're when you're using it, it just has a little bit better of a connection to the top of the top of the head. Now, um, it just it's never going to be a perfect connection like real life because we're making these attachable. If this machine was not attachable, we we could probably pretty it up a bit. But um, because they're attachable, it's just kind of a cog up there. But it looks a lot better than it did before with the little piece falling around and looking stupid. So, small improvement. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so the biggest change in the game uh, for the dangle head processors. So, this was a request, and I put it on here, and I tried it out, and it's actually pretty good, minus a couple little things. But um, So now, when you're going to fell a tree... You raise your head manually into the position you want it to be for felling. That is the felling position. It now automatically falls the tree, so you don't have to manually drop them anymore. So once I get into the cutting position, as soon as I hit cut, raise my head up, it falls on its own. I didn't have to do that. I didn't do any manual touching of anything. It falls all on its own now. Um, that was a big request from a lot of people, and that feature is now there. And then when you're done with your final cut, it actually raises the head back up again all on its own. I didn't have to do that. Now, if you want to return back to ground processing, you use the manual button to lower it back to that position, and it'll stay in that position. But if you want to go into felling mode, all you do is raise it as high as it'll go, and then automatically when you're cutting, it will um, drop, the trees, drop the trees to the ground. So again, drops it really nice. It is really, really nice because now... Um, when you're running the trees, they don't get hung up as bad and freak out. You also still have the ability to rotate um, 
the grab or rotate the head while it's in free free movement mode right now. Um, so you still still have you still retain that ability. Um, the only kind of weird downfall to having that node be freely falling like that is if I knock down a really big tree. Oh god, this is a huge tree, so this will probably be a nightmare. Which way can we fall it? Let's fall it towards that way to be less aggressive. So what happens is because that node is freely loose now when we cut. So let's see if we can do this without causing a complete catastrophe. So it's just going to freely fall on its own. Nice and pleasantly. But when you're running it, because the tree is so heavy, um, it really swings and launches back uh, the head. So watch as I hit it. You see how far the head kind of runs back and then it does that kind of teeter-totter back and forth? It's actually kind of behaving a bit right now. But as I run it, you can see how it, it goes back a bunch and then it kind of throws off your pile. So you kind of got to line it up. I mean, it's like that in real life a little bit on the lighter processor heads. But it kind of does that little bit of a hiccup where it slows down. And sometimes on hills, it's much worse. But then you just got to kind of line it up with your pile every time. And then as the um, <clears throat> as you work your way up the log to the lighter part of the tree, it, uh, it slows that down so you don't get that run back effect so bad. Um, and then as you get right up to the end, you can kind of just start timing it and it'll land perfectly. Ultimately, it runs a lot smoother for cutting because your tail doesn't hang up. It's not like a fixed position anymore. So your tail doesn't hang up on everything. Let me try to cut this one more tree. But you'll find cutting, you're just like, you'll be extremely fast or not messing around with that manual button. And then if you get hung up in the trees, you see how if you kind of you kind of swing it back and forth, it works its way through the tree. So we're going to try to pull it through here. There we go. Oh, we got it pinned real good there. But before, when you had the manual cut on, or, or manual dropping, um, you could really get it hung up really bad. Now, because it's a free-flowing part, it takes a lot of that pressure and tension off of the, the end of the tree while you're running it. So then you can do these really nice, smooth piles, and it feels really good. Um, so yeah, that's a huge feature change, and I think some people are really going to like that. I hope everybody likes it. I know I like it, and it's uh, been a game-changer for felling, because you can really just give her now. Um, also, uh, on this processor, uh, on all processors, we changed the cut time, uh, to be a tiny bit slower than it was before. Uh, so before it used to be extremely fast cut time, like it was like zing, 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 it would cut the trees up. So now when you go to cut, it's a tiny bit slower. So I'll knock this down. So when I bring it to a cut, um, the, the the speed at which the blade comes down is a little bit slower and it's good because now the trees don't shoot all over the place while you're working. So see how it's kind of like a slower cut? Before it used to be like twice as fast. So now it's a little bit of a slower cut, but it makes the trees fall in your piles a lot nicer. I noticed before if you had one and your head was kind of like swinging like this while you cut, um, because the cut was so fast the animation would like chop it off and it would like the tree would go phew and sometimes spin sideways and do weird stuff. So. Um, you'll just find in general this head is so much smoother just uh, for operating same with all processor heads uh, da, 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 da. What else do we do processors improved cut nodes? So previously in the other version if you had a smaller tree and you had it all the way up in the grapple Like that high sometimes it wouldn't cut like it would say it couldn't cut um, and you'd have to like drop it down to like there to get it to cut um, that was just an issue with the nodes, but the cut node is fixed. So now no matter where it is in the head, it will cut it or it will bring it up. Uh, improve the wood dust particles when cutting. So I, uh, improved the cut nodes for, uh, for the running back and forth. So when you're running the tree, there's a little less dust coming off them. Uh, same, oops, same when you go to do your cut. Oh, we're kind of at the end here. It's just a little bit less uh, sawdust that sprays off because in the last versions it was kind of spraying all over in like a weird direction. So now it just looks a little bit more realistic after watching some processor videos. Minor stuff. Um, uh, all skitters. All skitters and dangle heads, I guess I should say. Uh, I'll just use this as an example. We don't have to go to the skitter. But um, I've improved the physics of these heads so that they, they spin around a little slower so that they're not so aggressive when you're picking up. Uh, so let's go down here. I'm just going to do a quick little sample. 
So previously, every bump you hit, that head would like whip really hard and smash into the cab, or well, into the into the side of the arm, boom arm. Um, now, on skitters and the E50 dangle head and the pulpwood head, this is a way more kind of a, a floaty effect. It's a little bit more chill, uh, similar to real life. So it feels like there's actually some like compression in there. And you'll find that when you're loading and when you're playing with these things, um, they just they just feel a lot smoother, so you're not fighting with it as much. Uh, if you watch real life forwarder videos, those guys can just grab and chuck wood on there like it's nobody's business. Um, and the heads don't really flop around all crazy like. So I was trying to get that kind of same effect, and I think I've pretty much nailed it. Um, for the most part, you're not really having to battle with the heads anymore. They load really smoothly and everything stays pretty chill. Same with that, like when I bang the side of these, it, it, it it's a way more chill kind of hit. Before, if you hit them, it would kind of like cause the head to ricochet up. Anyway, it was bad. So that's fixed now. Makes it life a little bit better. Um, okay, now onto the grapples. My favorite part. I love the grapples. Okay, so on the grapples, step one, improve the uh, opening and closing. So people were saying they were opening and closing a little bit slow. So now they open and close at a, a faster rate if you hold down the close button. As you can see, they might be even a little too fast compared to real life because in real life they go quite a bit slower. But um, for anybody doing fast, intricate work, um, they do go a little bit faster now opening and closing. Um, I, I know I had like probably 20 emails about that for people saying, why do the claws go so slow? Well, they, they've been improved in this update uh, to go a little bit faster so you guys will be able to you know, grab your grab your logs a little more aggressively. Um, the other bonus is if you're penciling, that's kind of the that's kind of the main spot. So if you're penciling logs, oops, I'm gonna lose that one there. Um, you can open and close your grapple a lot faster, so then you get kind of a nice smoother effect when you're when you're actually doing that. Uh, so that's good. Uh, what else did we do? Greatly improve the grab strength. So now the grab strength on these uh, heads, so you can actually grab into these piles and actually get a good bite out of it, and it stays pretty pretty solid. In the last version, um, the heads were had a little too much give, so they were a little weak. So you go to grab and you'd really lose, sometimes the logs would work themselves out of the grapple. Um, they can still do that if you have little ones on the bottom and you grab kind of a big chunk in the middle. Just like real life, if you get a, you know, so if you had two big logs in the top and they kind of jam up the works, I can't even do an example of it right now, um, but if you had two of those big logs in there and they kind of jam up the works, then what would happen is it keeps it separated and then the little ones will kind of fall out the bottom. So you just either size sort your logs or figure out what you're doing, I guess. It's pretty easy. But yeah, you'll notice that they grab a lot, like a lot better, especially when you're going to load and stuff. It just feels like everything's a lot a lot tighter in the grapple which is super super nice um, and whether you're doing longs or whether you're doing shorts it just has a much better uh, strength effect for grabbing the logs so that you don't have to worry about them uh, sliding around quite as much yeah uh, okay what else got rid of the slippery effect okay so in the previous version, when you picked up a single log and this is on all grapples not just this grapple um, there wasn't a lot of friction on the head itself. So if I had this in here at all, if I even turned like this much, it would start sliding out of the grapple. I did keep it slightly slippy. So if you know, if you go like this far, it's obviously going to start sliding out. That's that's exactly like real life because in real life they slip and slide out of the grapple too. But if you're just grabbing like a small little pile like this, um, let's drop that bottom one and not gripping up on them entirely. So it's like kind of loose in there. They shouldn't all start sliding out. And I noticed in multiplayer while we were playing, it was sliding really, 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 really bad. So now you'll find on all the grapples, they they, they have a lot more friction. So they kind of hang on to the logs a lot more efficiently uh, in all in all ways without having to be too crazy with them, right? Um, yeah, it'll just in general make you a, a better operator. Uh, or at least you'll feel like a better operator. So yeah, uh, all the grapples... Greatly improved, greatly stronger, better friction, easier to load. You can grab big bundles without generally losing much logs out of the bottom. Uh, same with long logs. You can really pile on the pile on the wood. And I better stop because if not, I'm going to get all into loading here. Okay. Uh, 
what else do we got here the b train trailer which we actually have right here so that's handy um in the last version the locking straps that are on the trailer were not showing up when you hit l to lock it and that's because i had the locking straps buried a little too deeply into the the metal plate on the bottom so now when you hit l you'll actually see the locking straps on top so you'll know that they're on um, like I said, the previous version on this and the pup, the uh, the orange bit was down underneath. They still locked the loads, but you couldn't see them. So now that is fixed. You guys will be able to visually see them. I know that was an issue with a few people. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, the Pro Pack Buncher. Okay, that's the last one we got to look at. Uh, so the Buncher has had greatly improved grab arms. So these arms that grab... Oh, and there's a, a visual fix on these guys too. So... Uh, one thing that was going on with these guys is they used to have a cylinder similar to those ones on the front here. But what was happening was because this is a floating component, uh, physics-wise, and this is a fixed component, what would happen is every time you open the arm, um, it, would, it would pop the cylinder on and off of that arm, and it looked terrible because it looked like it was always breaking off or it was disconnected. So I tried and tried, and there's no way to really do it without going back to solid physics, and I can't do that without ruining my whole FDR grapple system. So um, I've just removed the cylinder because I was so tired of watching that little cylinder end pop off of the bolt. So I just filed off these bolts, and it, you know, it's not realistic because there's no cylinder opening it, but when you're bunching, it's really the last thing you're thinking about. So... Just ignore that, but at least it's not popping in and off the cylinder. So now the grab arms are a lot stronger than they used to be. So when you're going in for grabs, you'll notice the machine pulls the trees into the grab a lot harder than it did before. In turn, uh, because it grabs so hard, uh, it keeps your trees in these beautiful little bunches. And when you go to actually dump them on the ground, you'll notice your, your collected bunches stay together a lot nicer especially on the smaller trees so then when you actually go to dump because it's grabbing them so tightly in that little bunch it'll actually drop them in like a fairly nice little little grouping <clears throat> in the last version because the claws weren't super super uh tight like they kind of had a little bit of looseness to them sometimes when you went to do your drops on the ground uh with your trees it wouldn't stay very nice it would kind of like crap out in all different directions uh, so we're gonna go grab a couple more here. It's just nice because Obviously in real life these things have so much pressure that pull the trees in and of course in real life trees are actually soft And they have a little bendiness to them so it can kind of squeeze them together in a really nice bunch um, But in this game because the trees are absolutely solid as a freaking brick um, They like to not stay together. They don't squeeze together like real life, right? so now um, because it's so tight in there they actually lock together quite nicely so then when you go do your dump they all stay together really nice um but yeah any trees that you grab you'll notice just a lot more solid a lot more uh stationary when they're actually in the grapple fully closed yeah other than that that is all the updates for this one it's a big physics update big physics change um with a couple new toys but this is a great baseline for us uh for the next little while uh, like I said, it'll probably be a um, couple months before you see another update. I think everything is very, very, very well done right now. But as always, if you guys find problems, issues, you have ideas, you know, either email them to me at fdrlogging at hotmail.com or uh, feel free to comment in these videos and point out stuff that you noticed and I will take a look and see if we can improve it. All right, guys, uh, we'll leave it at that and we will catch you in the next one. See ya.